back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Now, today, I'm going to be performing a routine called Easy Estimation Aces, I think it's called, by Paul Gordon. Uh, it's an amazing Paul Gordon trick. It's great if you're doing a series of gambling demonstrations and you want to throw this in. It's really good. I'm going to perform it for Luke and you guys. So, Luke, uh, we're going to do something with the deck of cards. Okay. And a lot of people say to me when they find out I'm a magician, can you teach me how to cheat at cards? And it's actually fairly easy to cheat at cards if you know what you need to learn. And you don't need to learn everything, but what you do need to do is be able to keep track of certain cards. Now, we'll use the four aces because everyone knows what the four aces look like. Yeah. It might not necessarily be the four aces. You might want to keep track of five cards and you might want to keep track of like a royal flush. It's very important to be able to keep track of where the different cards are even when the cards are being shuffled. So if I take these aces and put them into four different parts of the deck, and I want you to see here that they really have gone into four different parts of the yeah, deck. Is that have, fair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a, uh, a bit of a shuffle as well. We'll give them one of these shuffles. The thing is, you don't normally see people shuffling like that at a card table. So we'll... Um, shuffles up? We'll, uh, that's called a Hindu shuffle. Mm -hmm. That one there is called a waterfall shuffle. Uh, this one here is called a, uh, fa uh, well, just an overhand shuffle. I'm sure you've heard of this one. Do need to learn some of these shuffles. It's, it's fairly useful. <laughs> and then obviously the other thing that you want to learn is like a running cut. That's fairly useful. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one that uh, is, is useful to learn is a pharaoh shuffle. This is a, uh, a pharaoh shuffle because what it does is it actually mm -hmm. mixes the cards like that. That's a, a nice shuffle to use as well. But the point is, you want to make sure that as you're doing all of these shuffles and all of these cuts, you're keeping track of where the aces are. Mm -hmm. So I know, for, for, for example, the first ace is 17 cards down. So if I cut exactly 17 cards, I can cut to an ace. Now, one card more and one card less, I would have missed completely. Yeah. So it's really important that when you do this, you... you, you um, uh, you you cut exact every single time. This is called estimation. That's the other skill you need to learn, estimation. You need to learn card control, keeping track of cards, mm -hmm. card estimation. And you also want to keep track of those cards even when you're cutting. So I might throw a few series of cuts in at this point. I might mm -hmm. do uh, this, which is kind of like an up-the-ladder cut, but all of the time, you want to keep track of where those aces are. Like I know the next one is 22 cards. No, that's a little bit light. Let me try again. 22 would be there, yeah. And again, one card more, one card less, I would have missed completely. It's very important that you get this right, else it's... Uh... So the next one is 37 cards down. Now it's difficult, it's quite difficult to get to the 30, when the cards are deeper down in the deck, it's quite difficult to get them. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut 20 cards. I want it more nearer the top. 17th position would be great. So if mm -hmm. I can take 20 cards and cut them to the bottom, I can then have that card in the 17th position, which would be more accessible for me. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I just give the cards what looks like a series of cuts, and uh, that would move 20 cards from the top to the bottom which means that the card is now 17 down. Well, actually, let me show you. I'll prove it to you. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> and again, one card more, one card less, I would have missed. Um, Weezes. Don't know about that. Uh, let's, uh, let's try this. You can do the last one yourself, okay? And I know you've never done this before, but I have faith in you. Watch the cards as I cut. I'm going to tell you it's about 41 cards down the last card. So I'm going to cut packets of cards onto the table. Just say stop any time you want. Stop. Right there. Do you want yeah, one yeah. more cut or do you want to stop right there? No, there. You want to stop right there. You don't do want to do one more cut? No. Nope. See, I think with enough practice, you would be able to do this no, as well. That's mine. What? Here you go. I think I'm actually scratching my head. Well, you should never show play cards, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do me a favour and let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then. Mm.